Welcome back to DXB today. It is World Food Day and we're exploring everything involved in that, talking about a little bit more education because our next guest is a culinary powerhouse trained in Michelin kitchens who's now shaking things up in Dubai's school scene with her farm to plate concept. The kids don't have much to complain about when it comes to school lunches at the Arbor School. Welcome to the show, Chef Ana Maria Herreras. Welcome, how are you? Thank you, I'm good. Good. I guess, first of all, what on earth is a Michelin star trained chef doing in a school in the first place? You're in the wrong place, surely. No, definitely the right place at the right time. Good. Um, I arrived uh, newly to Dubai and I was looking for a project that combines sustainability. Um, I needed a farm, uh, an organic farm, and what better place than the Arbor School. They had a functioning organic farm and they were looking for a chef with a sustainability background to make the circle complete between the farm, the kitchen, and the students' plate. I mean, that really is the right place at the right time. It is a match made in heaven. <laughs> now, tell us a little bit about the Arbor School because I know it's all focused around sustainability. What can people expect there? So eco-literacy, sustainability, and environmental justice is at the heart of the Arbor School curriculum. Those three themes are present in my development as a chef, and it has made me the chef that I am today. So it really was a match made in heaven um, to, to find the Arbor School. Um, we started out with only 25 students signed up for the, the lunches, and now we're serving over 700 students alone, along with two cafes on the campus. So it's been uh, quite a journey. There's also a giant tortoise I happen to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we do. Darwin. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> uh, I know how it can be challenging to grow your own food and veggie, uh, your own food in, the, in, a, in a farm. What are your challenges now for link, to create a link between the menu and what's happening, what's growing right now, what you're going to harvest the same day? So like I said, sustainability has, has developed me as a chef. So looking at the seasons, looking at uh, what produce can be grown here, it's always surprising to see what can be grown here, even cauliflower and cabbage and Brussels sprouts and kale. Um, so all of these items are also seasonal. Um, fortunately, I am working on a school campus, so the very hot seasons, when things are very difficult to grow, we are closed. So, <laughs> ah. um, yeah, absolutely. But what are your challenges as well around the youth specifically and getting them to pick healthier choices? Because I definitely didn't when I was in school. <laughs> it's, like I said, an incredible journey because so many parents have also within the community come to me and ask me, what do I put in my salad to make my son or my daughter eat salad and ask for salad at home? And we use organic lettuce and it's very simple honest ingredients. Um, obviously the, the items on the menu need to be attractive to children, um, delicious, and for them to want to come back, just like any customer. When you say attractive to children, do you literally mean to the eye? So Absolutely. that kids will want to eat it? Yes, definitely. And uh, what does that entail? Well, color is, is a main point on any plate. Yeah. Um, is it appealing? Of course, most kids, when they see green, they Right. Eat it immediately. So we have a very vegetable forward menu. Um, we even have a vegan option, a vegetarian option. And so every single plate has a raw vegetable, a cooked vegetable or steamed or present on every plate along with fruit. And how every day. has the reaction been from the kids? I mean, I'm sure a lot of people, even though their parents have sent them to the school, they're used to eating something very different at home. Have you seen the juxtaposition with that? Well, it definitely depends on the age group. So the younger students, the more students or classmates that they have uh, eating with the farmhouse at Arbor, the more they add on. Um, definitely with the older students, they are interested in eating healthy things. They are interested in feeling good, feeling smart, feeling energetic and making those, those good choices on their own. And that's the autonomy of it as well. When they see something that's healthy and delicious, this is a motivation. And they're talking about it with us, so it's great. Um, exactly. I, w I wanted to say that when the kids are uh, growing things, it's, uh, I think it's not that complicated to negotiate with them. When they harvest with you, maybe it might be easier for you in the kitchen to uh, sell them the menu. They're more willing to taste things that they never even heard of, for example. 
um, and that's really great. Or converting a zucchini into a delicious salad dressing um, that they would never guess it was zucchini. So. Now I want to pick up on a word both of you mentioned, which is community, right? Mm -hmm. is, the, is the community of like healthy, sustainable, yummy foods in Dubai exploding with, with like the parents and the kids and how do you see that evolving? It's changed uh, and it's changing for the better every day. Um, even as a chef choosing ingredients that are organic, local, uh, it's, it's growing. We, we met together on the Arbor campus. so. Um, Definitely, it's a young society. Um, it begins with the youth, it begins with children. Um, having that connection to organic or uh, local produce or livestock um, makes them realize that it's right here, it's right here, you can have it and it's tasty and they're talking about it and thinking about it and that gets carried on throughout their life and our future.